Hey what's up guys welcome to cubic soul youtube channel and in today's video i will teach you how you can create this type of circular boxes using html and css only so friends before starting the video please i request you to subscribe to our youtube channel to stay up to date with amazing videos about web designing let's start so friends first of all you can see that here i have index.html and style.css file first of all we will create a basic structure of html here and then we have to link the style.css with our html code next inside the body element we will create a div with class container and then type here div.drop inside this drop class we have to create a p element and i will type here html then simply copy this and paste here and between these two drop classes we will create a span element and type here plus then create another span element here and i will type here equal to then simply copy this div and paste this div here at this position i will remove the word html and we have to add font awesome icon here so first of all i will add the font awesome cdn so type here font awesome cdn click on this first website scroll up and copy link tag click on this icon and paste this link inside your head section and then type here i and add these two classes like fpa fpa heart so friends you can see the output now open the style.css and here i will type star padding zero margin zero box sizing border box and then copy this body element and paste this element here and i will type display flex justify content justify content center and align item center and then type here minimum height 100 vh background color this color code then from index.html copy this container class and paste this class here with a dot again type display flex justify content center and align item center next just copy this container class and paste this class here and then from index.html copy this pen element and paste this element here and type font size 2.5 em and margin 0 and 20 pixel so now your two symbols will look like this next here is our main part of the video from index.html copy this dot drop class and type here dot container and paste your class here and then type width 150 pixel height 150 pixel background color white display flex align item center justify content center border radius 50 percent and margin 0 and 10 pixel and then type here position relative so here we have to assign some shadows to our these circular card views and this shadow will create it by using multiple css properties so first of all i will type here text shadow minus 2 pixel minus 2 pixel 5 pixel and this color code then type filter drop shadow and type these properties and then type here box shadow and type these properties type here a comma before semicolon and then I, I will type here enter and then again type the following values so now i have typed this value and again you have to type here a comma and type the following values again so this time i have typed these values again type here a comma and type these values so you can see that i have typed this value and you have to add one more word inset at this position so friends by typing these shadow values you will come up this type of beautiful shadow to understand this code you can read how to use multiple css shadows on a single element then you will completely understand this concept next we want to create a dot here to do that first of all i will copy these two classes paste them here and type before content empty string width 10 pixel height 10 pixel and position absolute left 20 pixel top 40 pixel border radius 50 percent and background color white box shadow type these properties 10 pixel rgba so now here you can see that a dot with a shadow and next type here filter blur 2 pixel next copy this drop class and paste this class here with a dot and then copy this p element and paste this element here and type font size 1.7 em 
and then again copy this fa hurt class and here paste this class and make sure to copy this drop class and paste this class here and type here font size 1.7 em and color red so friends by writing this css you will come up with this type of output so i hope you must enjoy this video if you have any question related to this video you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our youtube channel to learn about web designing and i have also uploaded a lot of videos about web designing so you can visit my youtube channel and finally thanks for watching